Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good afternoon to my people from Three Success, Three Etika and Three Harmony. Okay, I hope you boys and girls are doing well at home. Okay, so today we are going to learn our first topic for English language. Okay, so I hope you are ready with your English language textbook. Okay, so first of all, mm -hmm. we are going to learn topic one. So you can turn to page five, page five, and look at the first topic. Okay, first topic, welcome. Selamat datang. Okay, welcome to year three. Selamat datang ke tahun tiga. Okay, now, on this page, you are going to learn about adjectives. Okay, adjectives. Adjective means kata sifat. Okay, adjectives are used to describe objects. Okay, you can describe colors, you can describe people, you can describe sizes. You can describe how you think. You can describe how you feel. You can describe how you are feeling right now. For example, if you are happy, you are angry, you are sleepy, and so on. Okay? You can also um, describe about shapes. Okay? So, um, okay, first of all, we are going to look at the new vocabulary on this topic, okay? You can see at the upper part here, the new vocabulary, the new words that you will come across in this topic, okay? Before anything else, in this book, you are going to meet your new friends, okay? You have two new friends and all other friends later. You will meet them soon. Okay, on this topic, you will see Anna, your girlfriend, and also your boyfriend. Great. Okay, these are your, no, your new two friends, okay? Now, back to this vocabulary. Okay, now I will play some audio. I will play some script. You will listen to how these adjectives are pronounced. Okay? How to say the words. Okay? When you watch this video, you can practice to say out the words together. Okay? Are you ready? Okay, let me play you the audio for the vocabulary up here. Okay? You may refer to your textbook while listening to the audio. Okay? okay, the first one. Module one. Okay. Welcome. Sing a song. Vocabulary. Okay, vocabulary. Pretty. Okay, everyone. The first word is pretty. P R E T T Y. Pretty. Say it together. Pretty. Okay. Pretty means something beautiful. Something is nice to look at. Okay. For example, Anna looks so pretty. Anna sangat cantik. Okay. Next. Ugly. Okay. The second word is Ugly. Everyone, repeat after me. Ugly. U-G-L-Y. Ugly. Okay. Ugly is the opposite meaning of pretty. Okay. Opposite meaning means maksud berlawanan dengan pretty. Okay. If pretty means cantik, so ugly means hodoh ataupun kurang cantik. Not 
pleasant to look at. Okay, kurang senang untuk kita tengok. Alright, next. Straight hair. Okay, straight hair. As you know, hair means rambut. Okay, the adjective here is straight. S T R A I G H T. Straight. Okay? Straight means lurus. Okay? Lurus. Straight. One straight line. Lurus. Okay? So straight hair means berambut lurus. Okay? Next. Curly hair. Curly hair. So, curly is the opposite of straight hair. Okay. Kalau straight hair, rambut lurus. Curly means keriting. Okay. That means it's not straight but curly. Bukan lurus tetapi keriting. Okay. Curly hair. C-U-R-L-Y. Curly. Okay, you don't sound curly. You don't sound the R letter. You just sound curly. Silent R, okay? Senyapkan huruf R. Curly. I hope you get that. Okay. Next. Blonde hair. Okay, this is one type of the color of your hair. Okay? Blonde hair. Blonde hair. Okay, rambut berwarna. Blonde. Okay. What does blonde means? Is it yellow? Is it brown? Is it golden? Okay. So, it's not yellow, not brown, not golden. But blonde is like a mixture or a combination of golden, light brown color. Okay. Golden, gold color and brown color. Um, not really black, not really brown, but light brown. Warna coklat muda campur warna keemasan. Okay, so it becomes blonde hair. Rambut berwarna blonde. Okay, perang keemasan. Alright, B L O N D E, blonde. You don't say blonde or blonde. No, you put the E sound to silent. Senyapkan huruf E. So, dia jadi blonde. Blonde. You stop at the D sound. Okay? The D sound. D sound. Blonde. So, blonde hair. Rambut berwarna, perang keemasan. Okay? And the last one, the last vocabulary for you is... Purple. Okay. I guess most of you know what color is purple. Okay, purple, bukan purple, not purple, but purple. You silent the R or R sound. Kita nipiskan bunyi R. So, purple, purple. Okay, purple is the mixture or combination of the color of red and blue. Gabungan warna biru dan merah. So, you mix the two colors, it becomes Purple, warna ungu, purple. Okay, I hope you get that. Okay, we are done for the first part of this page, which is the vocabulary part. Okay, I hope you guys are okay so far. Okay, so these are adjectives. As you can see, pretty, ugly, straight, curly, Blonde, purple, all these are adjectives. Kata sifat. Okay. They describe values on the person, on the object such as hair and on the color. Melengkapkan um, penerangan tentang seseorang ataupun sesuatu benda ataupun sesuatu yang kita nampak, kita hidup, kita dengar, kita bau. Okay. That is adjective. Kata sifat. Okay, now next, we are going to the next part, which is the song. Okay? Smart friend's song. 
Okay, I will let you listen to the song first. How does it sound? Okay, kita akan dengar lagu Smart Friends. And while you are listening and try to sing along, sambil kamu dengar dan menyanyi sekali, you can look at your textbooks and try to identify the adjectives in the song lyrics. Cuba cari um, adjectives, kata sifat dalam lagu ini. Alright? Some of them are from here. Some of them are the new words. So, setengah adjektif perkataan baru yang tak ada dekat atas. Okay, so you try to guess which are the adjectives. Yang mana satu kata si fat. Yang menerangkan benda ke, binatang ke, okay, perangai manusia ke. Okay, you try to identify. Now, let's listen to the song together. Are you ready? Yay! Okay, now let's listen to the song. Activity 1. Listen and match. Then sing. Smart friends. Okay, listen carefully. Hello, I'm Sharky. I'm a big fish. I've got big teeth and three purple fins. Who's that? Who's that? What's his name? His name is Greg. He's got brown eyes. His hair is a brown. He's very nice. Who's that? Who's that? What's her name? Her name is Anna. She's got blonde hair. Her eyes are green. She's a pretty girl. Pretty. Okay. Again, I will play the song again. So, you listen carefully. And try to identify the adjectives in the song. Cuba cari kata sifat dalam lirik lah. Go. Okay. Miss bagi hint. Apa benda yang dia tengah nyanyikan. Bahagian mana yang dia nyanyikan. Alright. Again. Hello, I'm Sharky. I'm a big fish. I've got big teeth and three purple fins. Who's that? Who's that? What's his name? His name is Greg. He's got brown eyes. His hair is a brown. He's very nice. Who's that? Who's that? What's her name? Her name is Anna. She's got blonde hair. Her eyes are green. She's a pretty girl. Okay. All right. I hope you get that. Okay, so this song tells you about two of your friends, Gray and Anna. As you can see in the picture is how the song describes their characters. Okay. Lagu ni menerangkan apa nilai yang ada dekat kawan kamu, Anna and Greg. Some adjectives are seen in the pictures. You can find the adjectives based on the pictures. Okay. I hope you get that. Okay. Now, let's look at the dialogue below. Okay. This is one example about how you describe adjectives. Contoh kamu nak menerangkan ataupun menjelaskan sifat sesuatu perkara. Alright. Okay. Let's listen to the dialogue. Kita dengar apa yang dua kawan ni sedang sembang. Alright. Activity 2. Play. She has got brown eyes. 
Her hair is brown. What's her name? It's Lucy. Yes, it is. Okay, once again. Who? Play. She has got brown eyes. Okay, this boy said she has got she has got brown eyes. Dia ada mata berwarna coklat. Her hair is brown. Her hair is brown. Rambutnya berwarna brown juga coklat. What's her name? What's her name? Okay, siapakah nama dia budak perempuan tu? Okay. So, the girl beside him is telling him who the person is. Orang sebelah dia ni sedang menerangkan siapa orang yang kawan lelaki kamu ni tanyakan. Okay. Lucy. Okay, it's Lucy. Oh, orangnya Lucy. Yang berwarna, rambut berwarna coklat dan mata coklat tu, itulah Lucy. Alright? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Ya, yeah, betul. Okay? Alright. Okay. So, to conclude today's lesson, okay, this is very important part in your textbook. You can focus on the brown box, sorry, yellow box below. Kotak berwarna kuning di bawah. Okay? In each topic, you will find either blue or yellow box. Kamu akan jumpa kotak warna kuning ataupun biru kat bawah ni. Okay, these are examples of how you use the vocabulary or the grammar rules on the page to, sorry, to form sentences. Cara kamu nak tulis ataupun cara kamu nak bercakap menggunakan um, apa hukum tata bahasa yang kita belajar dalam bentuk ayat. For example, on today's lesson, in today's lesson, you learn about adjectives. Kamu belajar tentang kata sifat. So, usually, in a sentence, you put the adjectives before the objects or subjects. Okay? Kamu letakkan nilai kata sifat tu sebelum kamu nyatakan benda ataupun subjek ataupun objek yang kamu bincangkan dalam kamu punya percakapan atau kamu punya ayat. Okay. For example, bawah ni, the first line. Okay. You can see at the first line, I have got brown eyes. Saya have got means mempunyai brown eyes. Okay. Adjective is brown. Eyes is the object. Okay. Subject, uh, sorry. Perkara yang kita bincangkan ialah mata. So, I have got brown eyes. Brown eyes. Mata berwarna coklat. So, letak adjective dulu baru benda apa yang kita terangkan. Okay. Brown eyes. Coklat, mata. So, maksudnya mata berwarna coklat. Okay. Second example. Okay. Kita tengok contoh yang bawah ni pula. He has got brown eyes. Okay. He has got brown eyes. Sama lah. Dia, seorang budak lelaki, has got mempunyai brown eyes. Mata berwarna coklat. Mm -hmm. Okay. As also you can see, ada perbezaan dekat bawah ni. Okay. Yang tengah ni. Have got and also has got. Okay. This one, Miss will explain in the next lesson. Ini masuk kepada hukum tata bahasa yang barulah. Bukan lagi adjective. Okay, ini masuk ke the verb, kata kerja. It's okay. We will discuss in the next lesson. Miss akan terangkan dalam lesson yang seterusnya. Okay, so as for today, you just focus on adjectives. Kamu hanya fokus kepada kata si, but. Alright? Okay, you can replay this video later for you to understand more. Boleh ulang balik video ni supaya kamu faham apa yang Miss cuba terangkan. Alright? Okay. After this, uh, I have left to I have left you uh, an assignment in Google Classroom. Miss dah tinggalkan homework dalam Google Classroom. You go to the Google Classroom, pergi login masuk dalam Google Classroom, uh, masuklah register and put your password and all. 
go to your class. Pergi dekat kamu punya ruangan kelas, go to the assignment. Pergi bahagian English. Pergi bahagian bahasa Inggeris. So I have, I have left you exercise one. Ada miss tinggalkan homework dalam tu exercise one. Okay. You go there and try to answer the question. Cuba baca arahan betul-betul. Fahami apa yang Miss Ro buat. Kamu boleh edit. Masukkan jawapan kamu dalam tu. And don't forget after you have finished your exercise. Bila dah habis type semua jawapan kamu. Jawab semua jawapan kamu. Please click turn in. Cuba klik turn in ataupun submit. Cuba klik macam hantar, send. Okay. So uh, I will check your homeworks later. I hope you get what I taught you today. Saya harap kamu fahamlah apa yang Miss ajar today. Alright. So if anything you can WhatsApp me personally if there's any part you don't understand. Uh, kalau ada bahagian kamu tak faham, you can WhatsApp me later. Kamu boleh WhatsApp Miss ataupun call Miss Tanya. Alright. So, this is our first lesson. Um, ada banyak kekurangan lah sebab Miss pun uh, nervous juga guna Google Classroom and uh, live ni kan. So, Miss record the video. Uh, do, Miss recordkan dulu supaya kamu boleh ulang tengok. Alright. I will include the link in the Google Classroom. Nanti kamu boleh tengok. Okay. Okay. So, uh, thank you for today. I hope you can learn well and I will always be here. If you don't understand anything, uh, you need any, you, you want to ask any questions, you can ask me later. Okay. All right. Um, all the best. Um, I hope you can finish your homework and submit to me later. Thank you, boys and girls. See you again in next lesson. Okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and goodbye.